Welcome, beautiful friend, to day 25 of our angel adventure with me, your host, Callista, angel healing guide and author and lover of the angels. Hopefully this video will share maybe a little bit something new for you in your own angelic path as we connect with our Kea Harmony, the angel of music, of unity, of cooperation and divine feminine twin of Archangel Raguel. So let's just take a moment just to say a big vibrational yes as we open to the joy that is Archaea Harmony. Bring in your hands to your heart or if you have the card, bring it to your heart centre. And just taking a moment to bring all your focus into this moment. Breathing into the part of you that feels most relaxed at this time. And as your attention rests here, allowing that sense of ease to grow like a warm balm across your body, within your body, soothing, relaxing, bringing you completely into centre as we welcome in our Kea Harmony. May you come forward and bless us with your love, your presence, your teachings. We are available to any messages you would like to share, as well as introducing who you are, your attributes, your qualities, your crystal and plant allies. Please take a deep breath in. As we invite our Kea Harmony, just like this, that beautiful breeze that just came through the window, just to come in, this soft breeze, just to move through you connecting with you for the next 24 hours or more and so it is thank you so i decided to just have the window open today so you can hear the birds outside in preparation for this video i just sat outside listened it's, it feels like and sounds like i live in an aviary because there's so many different birds and you might even hear the pheasants cluck in this morning even though it's early morning here i also heard an owl so there's so much going on and it just feels very synchronistic because this angel that we're connecting with today she's all about how sound and frequency and music has the ability to join us back together when we feel out of sorts. And you'll know exactly what I mean by that when you are not feeling so great and then your favourite music comes on the radio or you put it on and by the end of that track, you're just feeling yourself again. You just feel back together. And this is her essence. This is Harmony's essence. She is tasked to bring together this sense of unity, this sense of source resonance this frequency that we can't really put words on but we know we can feel this is her task and she does it with such bliss here she is with her eyes closed she's just so in the flow of the sound waves and the sound currents of the universe adjusting where needed just to keep that ultimate balance when the imagery for Here we go. Lost the video. When the imagery for these beautiful cards and the images were being created, Mary Jo, the artist, brought in and she saw the vision of a violin. And so we brought in this. She's just playing it, her holy violin. She's sitting on a cloud. Harmony very much connects with the element of air. She has this beautiful diaphanous wings that are barely there just like the very essence the very essence the very suggestion of wings 
because she is she's so light she helps us to master the element of air she helps to master helps us to master our own sound our own current she says that angels don't actually see us like the elementals that we we're talking about in archangel ariel's video for day 24 the angels actually hear our vibration they hear us as a melody we sing to the angels isn't that beautiful they shared that many years ago and i like to i like to tell that message and share that in a lot of the angel healing courses because this is how the angels know that when we are vibrationally off they know this and they can come and they can help us to literally join ourselves back together bring us back into that source alignment and the angel that excels the most at this with such ease and such elegance and grace is Archaea Harmony. And as a single mother, and I know there's a lot of single mothers that, that are here in this community, and hello, I see you, and the single papas as well, doing such an incredible job. You know, Archaea Harmony really is your ally friend. She can help you just because, you know, it can be, it can be a lot, can't it, to have a a business or to work full time or even part time and still look after the children, still look after the house. Archaea Harmony has really helped me to master that, having three children, two that are very highly sensitive, one ADHD, high sensitive, one more with autism. It it can be difficult because they have extra needs. There's 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 you need a lot more extra patience, a lot more extra time, a lot more extra balance and harmony. And this is really where Archaea Harmony can come in and support us just to keep the peace within the household, also to keep the peace and the sanity within ourselves, helping us to tune back in. And I thought today, perhaps in this video, we'll talk a lot about the sound and the frequencies of sound and how it can be so healing, and it really is. But when I sat outside, just in preparation with Harmony, I asked, what would you like to share? Because of course, the angels that we're introducing in each of this, each of these videos as the 34 day series, we can go in so many different directions. They have a multitude of teachings. And if you want to immerse yourself more in the teachings, do get yourself a copy of the Female Archangels Friend, the second edition. Know that it's also on audio and all of the meditations and visualizations are set to music. And we took so much time to just have the perfect music. The angels were there as we were recording. And so their frequencies are there. They're, you can feel it. You can sense it in these beautiful meditations. And if you have something like Spotify, you'll get the book for free or audible. So do check that out. So yeah, there's a wealth of information about harmony, going into angelic breath work, ancestral healing, of course, using the breath work, using her specific way of breathing, her specific pranayama that she guides. She talks about breaking ancestral codes, the sylvagio frequencies. And there's a lot of science in here about the different sylvagio frequencies, the different musical tones expressed in hertz that can affect our conscious and subconscious self and our conscious and subconscious mind to stimulate great change. Um, and if you want to know the scientific studies and research papers, head into this chapter. It's it's so rich. Um, and she's a big angel. There's the pheasants outside. She's a big angel for bridging spirituality and science as I am. But what we wanted to share in this video, friends, it's a big segue, but what we wanted to share is less about music in that respect and more about We are constantly tuning into something, whether it's tuning, whether we're outside and we're tuning into nature or listening to the birds or the sound of the breeze, whether we're tuning into a movie that we're watching and we're so engrossed in the narrative of that movie and the characters and how the relationships and we're just in it there, we're just in it. And also just in conversations with people friends, clients, strangers, we're always tuning into something. And she wanted to reiterate this point today so that you can notice 
how you are feeling when you are exposed to different stimulus, different, because everything's a sound current, everything emits a sound or a tone in this in this beautiful universe, are the frequencies that you're exposing yourself to, whether this is particular people, conversations, what you're listening to, are they, do you feel like they're draining you or do you feel like they're expanding you? And I noticed this the other day, just in company with a couple of friends who I love dearly, but the conversation, the way it was going, you know, it's easy to be influenced when you're in the company of others that are sharing more negative drama, whether it's personal drama or um, specific viewpoints and judgments on global situations. It's really easy to be influenced and to tune into that and to then feel drained by that. And I came away um, from that interaction not feeling so great, actually feeling, oh, okay. And Harmony was right there just to highlight sometimes we need to be a little bit more discerning as to who we're spending time with, as to what we are listening to, what we are watching, because everything really is influencing us. Everything, we're tuning into everything, wherever we are in this particular moment. And so we can be more deliberate, we can be more discerning by taking the time to tune into ourselves, not to tune into the ego or our own personal drama, but to tune into our inner being, our inner being, that which is always melodic, that which is always in pure resonance, pure harmonic convergence with source. How do we do that? Meditation is probably the biggest way that we can do that. Easy and effortless, 15 to 20 minutes of just meditating, focusing on the sound of your breath or the sense of that rising and the falling of the breath, just tuning into you. Why is this important? Why does Harmony want to share this today? Because it makes us a lot more sensitive, a lot more emotional, emotionally sensitive to stimulus so that we can pick up early on, okay, this is not making me feel so good. I am not a match to this. And then you can change the conversation or you can leave that space. It makes you a lot more savvy. You become this emotional, this harmonic detective and you can choose and be more deliberate with who you're letting into your space, with what you're letting into your vibration and ultimately what you're tuning to, what you're allowing to influence you. Okay, so this is what we really wanted to share today. And also do just take some time just to be with harmony. If you want, bring your journal out, ask her, okay, what are... What are the ways that I can bring in more harmony, more unity, more balance into my life? How can I be more discerning with particular people? I think what we'll do tomorrow when we connect with Archangel Aria at Raguel, and Raguel's focus, Twin of Harmony, is more on relationships. But what I just want to say is, I think social psychologists talk about this, I see it all the time, that you are the product of the five people that you spend the most time with. I think what they're getting at there is the harmonics, the vibration of everybody around us. Yes, we are being influenced. Yes, we are tuning into them. So perhaps when you're journaling, journal down who is the five people that are closest to you? Friends, clients maybe that you spend a lot of time with, um, family members, friends, just writing them down. Are they a match to who you are right now or were they a match to who you were five years ago, 10 years ago? Do you have anything in common anymore? Is there still growth in this friendship and this connection? If not, what needs to change? Is it time to completely revive that relationship or is it time to gracefully with gratitude, walk away. Be discerning about what you bring in 
to your frequency friends it really is so important I think even more now with social media we're constantly you know it, it can be automatic just scrolling and tuning in being bombarded all the time with information and it's been really wonderful to receive so many messages about this particular series and the common the common message is often I'm loving the series so much because I'm feeling a lot more in tune in tune a lot more aligned a lot more present I can see and sense and 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 feel the angels so much more is it because of what we're sharing in each video perhaps but I truly believe more it's because you're taking the time every day to tune in to you because what are angels? Angels are ultimately mirrors of your inner being. So they're holding the space, they're helping you as you tune in every day if you have done to connect with yourself. That's why you're seeing the changes. That's why you're feeling so good. So continue on this path, friends. Continue to create even when the series is finished. Create that time with yourself every day so that you're tuning into you. Tuning into you so you're not tuning into everybody else. And that will make you a lot more emotionally energetic and uh, vibrationally sensitive to what does light and expand you or what drains you and brings you down so you can be more discerning, so that you can contour your life with greater ease greater elegance just as harmony inspires us to do this okay that was a big message did that resonate with you friends let me know in the comments let's go to allies crystal allies of one's jumping wait a second off harmony the jumping one is one that i haven't spoke about in the book um, within the book you can see all the crystal allies and the plant allies of all the Ar of all the archaea so this is what I wanted to talk about this is blue kyanite um, often it comes in these little small pieces or you can have the big one I've just got a couple of these little small pieces because don't let the size fool you because they're very very powerful blue kyanite especially to put on your third eye to break patterns, to break patterns. Um, for example, in the book, we talk about ancestral code breaking and there's a beautiful uh, guided meditation and activation to work with your ancestors, three sets, your parents, your grandparents and your great grandparents to literally break those karmic stories and the woundings that seem to repeat in your story, the family, your family line, the story of your family. And blue kyanite is amazing. So if you do that journey or any ancestral work, just pop some blue kyanite on your third eye or wherever you feel like you are holding on to that specific contract or story or identity within your family. Really, really powerful. Another one that resonates strongly with Archaea Harmony is Blue Lace Agate. Now, Harmony serves on the pale blue ray of cooperation and unity. And just like that specific source ray, this is the, this is the properties of Blue Lace Agate. It brings about this sense of cohesion, this sense of greater understanding of yourself and also those around you. Wonderful stone to have with you if you're going through a time of conflicts with others or conflict with yourself, just wearing that blue lace agate brings everything down a little bit so you can see clearly, you can feel more, um, but you're not going to that space of emotional reaction. You're actually responding more calmly with greater perspective. And then the last one that I want to talk about is celestite, good old celestite. I used to have a big raw piece of this and I wish I still had it. Um, celestite tends to fracture quite a lot like this one has because it's very soft crystal. And it has this gorgeous light vibration of archaea 
harmony. Wonderful angelic crystal anyway to have in your crystal toolbox. Plant allies for Archaea Harmony include grape, grapefruit flower, but also just drinking grapefruit has such an angelic resonance. It really does expand your fields to the vibration of the angels, as well as longwort, which is fantastic to drink as your tea. If you're holding on to anything in your, in your lungs or you suffer from bronchitis or COPD or asthma, respiratory obstruction in any way really works and really brings in that element of the air and spaciousness into your lungs and also vervain carries the frequency of archaea harmony so i hope you have a wonderful time with her she's an angel probably to connect with for a good couple of weeks or a good couple of months she's just so incredible to work with friends uh, but as ever leave your comments let me know how you're getting on with the journey so far if you have any questions about the angels pop them in too because after the series finishes i'll be sharing more reels and shorts and little videos with the angels and I'll happily answer your questions. Until the next video, so much love. See you soon.